Alright. <laughs> okay, hello. Um, I know this is coming just a little bit late in the world of pop uh, news or whatever. Um, it has been a busy weekend for me, and plus, uh, I, you know, we kind of took Whitney's death kind of hard, so I was really in the mood to make videos. Um, anyway, so this is gonna, ugh, this is my review. I'm gonna start off with something happy so that I can keep up the upbeatness. So I'm gonna do a, my little review of the Grammys, okay? First of all, um, you guys, the Grammys, whoever the Grammys rep is, are, whatever, you guys did not do enough for Whitney, okay? I get that it was last minute and everything, but you got like 40 million viewers, which is about um, 20, 25 million more viewers than normal, who that normally watch you, just because of Whitney Houston. Just because we wanted to see you guys um, do some type of really cool tributes and montages with, you know, video images and still shots and music medleys and mega mixes and stuff like that. And I get LL Cool J, beautiful prayer, perfect. Pitch Perfect, love it, loved it. Um, Jennifer Hudson, beautiful, you did an awesome job. Thank you so much, beautiful. And you know, other people said some, some, you know, a little bit of a few things here and there. Um, strange though that she was like an international star that everybody in all over the world knew and and loved, and even in Australia and Sweden. And I see all these videos from these people from you know all these other places. You know, even Nelson Mandela knew her, and yet I only see black people talking about her on the Grammys. Like, I mean, hello, she's not a you know marginal person. She's 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 the queen of pop. So it's like you know there should have been like more diversity in the people who are talking about her and, you know, tributing her and, you know, feeling bad, you know, expressively. But, um, you know, I definitely thought that the Grammys, it was three hours long. Oh my gosh, three hours long. Do you not understand that we have no attention spans? Like this is the video game generation. We don't pay attention like that. I mean, JK Rowling is lucky that she got us to pay attention for seven whole movies or was it eight? I don't know. I lost, I lost my attention. Okay, so, no. Three, three hours, you guys really need to learn how to cut that down to two. Okay? And if you're gonna have three hours, then at least have good acts. Oh my gosh! First of all, I, you know, I, if, I, if I, I'm not watching the Grammys anymore, okay? Because, first of all, I feel duped and I watched you guys for Whitney and I got barely any Whitney. Okay, you guys normally have like 20, 25 million viewers. You got like 40 million viewers because of Whitney. And that's like the most you've ever gotten since Michael Jackson's Thriller in 1984 when you got like 51 million viewers. Yeah, we do some, we know our math. So it was just kind of like, you know, I felt duped. Then I thought, okay, well, even if they don't have enough Whitney, at least the acts should be really cool to watch. Oh my god, I wound up saying if I see one more freaking banjo act, I'm going to slip my throat. Not really, because kids, if you're suicidal, please don't do it. Call help. Okay? Love you. But seriously, oh my gosh, like, you had, they had a commercial come on that was just like, oh, country music awards. It's country music's party of the year. No. I was like, no. We were like, no. The Grammys was this year's country music party of the year. Okay? Because if I see one more Taylor Swift thing with the band and, and, and other people with the banjo, the banjo, 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 country, country, banjo, I'm like, oh my god. Seriously? You know, music um, really is much bigger than country music. And you know, um, I don't know how to put this, how do I put this? There's no really way to put this. Um, I don't know. I don't really know how to put this because I, I don't want to, I don't want to offend anybody, but, um, let's, it's, it's kind of like when I see an, an episode, when I see High School Musical, for example, and I'm like looking at all the music, it's all about music, right? And I'm like, okay, where are all the black kids? Where, <laughs> where are all the Hispanic kids? Where are all the kids that kind of you know, come from ancestors who created music, you know, I mean, who, who make it awesome and flavorful, and I mean, granted, everybody can ma have the power to make it musical and flavorful and, and awesome, but I'm just like, banjos? Like, one act with a banjo is fine, okay, but it was a very bland, milk toast type of Grammys, like, there was, like, very little flavor anywhere, and then the flavor that was there, okay, Bruno Mars, he was great, he was one of the best acts of the night, um, and let me see. I did like Paul McCartney's Valentine. That was really, really nice. And uh, Adele and Jennifer Hudson, of course, were great. I don't know what the hell is wrong with Nicki Minaj. She's on crack. I have something to say to her. 
Um, Katy Perry, annoying. She needs to go away. And Rihanna, the girl's just crazy. She needs help. I feel bad for her. Um, but anyway, yeah, like, there was so many, like, it was, you went from clown hookers to boring country crap to a little bit of talent thrown in. <laughs> with Adele and uh, Jennifer Hudson and Bruno Mars. So that is, you know, um, that's a problem. That's a problem. So I'm not going to watch you guys again because, excuse me, not only did you disappoint me when it came to Whitney, but you were extremely boring and extremely um, not flavorful. And then the flavor that you do have is psychotic, insane clown posse hookers on crack stuff. You know, this all this whole Lady Gaga thing. I don't need that. Nobody needs that, okay? We need more Whitney Houstons. We need people with talent, okay? I'm so sick of this. And, and, and what's weird is that I'm pretty sure Lady Gaga actually has a voice. I mean, she may not be pretty, but she's got a voice. I mean, when you have a voice, you can still get famous with that voice without being a hooker clown, okay? And, oh my God. And Katy Perry, you're just annoying because you don't have a brand, okay? At least Lady Gaga, she makes her brand by stealing from everybody else's brand and then calling it her own, okay? And then making a mockery of all the people whose, whose brands that she stole from and then calling it Lady Gaga, okay? So even though she's a fraud, at least she's a calculated fraud and at least she owns her fraudulence, you know what I mean? She 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 has, you know, reinvented and owns her fraudulence. She makes her fraudulence her own. You know what I'm saying? But Katie, oh my god. And then Nikki, oh my god. I should make a video just for you, Nikki, and I'm 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 contemplating maybe doing that. I may, you know what? I am going to make a video for you. I am just going to let you know. Well, I think I am. But I'm just going to say, Katie Perry, you have you are not, you are, you are trying to be like Lady Gaga and Lady Gaga is already a combination of a bunch of other people who she ripped off. So all you are really is annoying, Katy Perry. You are just annoying. You are a sellout because you were a preacher's kid and now suddenly you're just trying to do everything you can to be a rebel without a cause and like moon everybody. Like, look, you guys, I can, look how many ways I can offend my preacher father. And you're just like, and blue hair? Why? I just, I mean, why? Like, who are you? Like, what is your brand? You are so annoying. Go away. I kissed a girl and I liked it. Who cares? God, bye. And then, um... Oh god, Nikki, you're just dumb. Let's be honest, Nikki Minaj, you just are stupid. Okay? Like, I mean, you just you were not I don't know, if, you know, if your mama dropped you on your head as a baby or if you know, you just aren't just aren't just not thinking. I think you have the capacity. You may even be able to have really intellectual thoughts since well, I'm not even going to bring up your your sign because that's my sign and I just don't want to I don't want to be associated with what you did. Okay, seriously, you're trying to do your whole Lady Gaga thing because you're like trying to be like a combination of like Lady Gaga meets um, Lisa Left Eye Lopez from TLC meets Barbie with a tan. Okay, I get that. That's your brand. And granted, nobody is quite like you. And I do love your personality. You have a great personality. But you're dumb, sweetie, because what you did at the Grammys was the worst performance I have ever ever seen in my life and I've seen some pretty awful performances I thought that um it was a joke I was wondering if it was supposed to be funny when I was watching it and then I'm like well first of all if it's a, if it's if I'm laughing I don't think you intended it to be funny but even if you did it's not funny it was it, it started off where I thought it was going to be funny and I was going to start laughing and then I was like this isn't funny this is just retarded and offensive and at least Lady Gaga, she's calculatedly offensive. So, like, when she offends you, not only are you expecting it, but she does it in a semi-quasi-smart way, kind of. I don't really want to justify anything she does because she really annoys me. She's like the liberal version of Sarah Palin who annoys me just as much, if not more. The only difference between the two of them is that, you know, because they're both manipulative and full of crap and rip people off. But the only difference between them is that Sarah Palin has no follow-through. She's a quitter. But, uh, you know, Lady Gaga, she's a harder worker. But they're both annoying. And, like, friggin' Nicki Minaj, you were, like, trying to copy off of her. And you, 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 you do this weird thing with exorcists and offending Catholic people. I'm not even Catholic. I am Christian, but I'm not Catholic. And I was even like, oh, my God, this is so bad. This is so many ways of inappropriate in a not even fascinating or interesting way. It was just a big mess. Not even a hot mess. Just a mess. Okay? Just a mess. All right, and then, um, like, you, you, nobody knows if you're trying to sing or trying to rap. Like, my mom was like, is she a singer or a rapper? I'm like, 
she's a mess. That's what she is, Mom. She's a mess. And, <laughs> and I was just like, really, like, Whitney, why'd you have to go? Look what you left us with. Nicki Minaj and Lady Gaga. I'm going to choke myself because I can't. I mean, we don't, we need people. Okay, granted, we have Jennifer Hudson and Adele. They have beautiful voices. But we, we don't really have people. We have very few people who have talent in the music industry now because everything, everybody's a hooker clown. They're just a clown and a hooker all in one. Clowns on the street corner selling whatever. And then, you know, people who do have talent, some of them, they're kind of not really, uh, they don't really have that star quality that they don't really exude, you know. And then even if they do have a star quality, you know, a lot of great singers, sometimes they, they kind of, they sing at you. They don't really pull you in. And that's what the magic of Whitney was that she didn't have to yell at you like Christina Aguilera, who's like always yelling and riffing all the time, or Mariah Carey, who's always riffing all the time. And, you know, like they're all, they're all competing for our attention. She didn't have to compete for our attention. She could hush an entire loud, crowded room singing purely soft. And then shh, the whole world, the whole, the whole room just hushes. That is a star, okay? That is a real star, diva, singer, whatever you want to call it, okay? I mean, you know, I get that the, some of these girls have great voices, but some of them I can't even listen to for longer than a few seconds. Like, you know, I love Jennifer Hudson's voice uh, and Adele's voice, and I, I kind of like Kelly Clarkson's voice, and, uh, you know, I like old school Mariah Carey better than new school Mariah Carey. Um, but, you know, there's some people I just can't listen to, like Christina Aguilera. I cannot listen to that girl's voice for the life of me. She's yelling at me, she's riffing all over the place, and her tone is annoying. So it's kind of like... We don't even have, even when it comes to people who can sing, the music industry tends to pick out people who are yelling at us, as opposed to, or, you know, as opposed to people who have that really special, just magic. None of these people are magical, and that's the problem. But even, even when it comes to, you know, just having more people with talent, people who really, like, get people's attention and, like, you know, just grab you, like, they, they, you know, they, they just, they grab you, they pull you and shake you, and you're just like, wow, that was amazing. We don't really have any of that in our, in my generation. I am, I am so embarrassed and depressed by it, because it's kind of like, you know, Nicki Minaj and Lady Gaga, and forget Katy Perry, she's not, she's not even exist, as far as I'm concerned, but really, and, and Rihanna is just a mess, she needs therapy. I mean, like, who are these people? Who are these people? They suck so many different horrible ways of, of suckage. Like, major suckage. And I'm... I'm just kind of like, you know, wow. Um, you know, and they have no standards. They will do absolutely anything to get, your, get, you, to, get you to buy their album. They're like politicians. You know, even manipulative. They, they make songs like Firework and Born This Way when she was not born that way, honey. Lady Gaga was not born that way. And uh, I don't know what Nikki's done, but, you know, all these songs, that they, they come out and people, and they, they try to relate to the people who feel insecure or, or inferior or, or, or unloved and basically just manipulate them to buy their CDs, their, their CD albums because, <laughs> because it works, just like politicians. And they don't even, they don't, they don't, they don't have any real creative vision or, 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 or talent or, or, or star quality or originality or, or, or meaning or substance, they are simply using you and me and us. They're just manipulating us. And it's just like, you know, I just, I just, I've had enough. I think that's where I'm, I think that's what this is really about. I've had enough because it just keeps building and building and building and it never seems to have any balance of the people who really are worth our time and the people who really are worth our attention that actually get our attention without being hooker clowns you know what i'm saying and you know even the foo fighters oh the foo fighters they were they, they did a good job i like the foo fighters even when he got his award he was just like you know music is not about being uh perfect the music is not about you know the machine and being you know manufactured it's about the talent and the artistry and and you know just you know the raw authenticity of it. And I was like, oh my god, I wish the whole world was like that because these people, like, the majority of artists, or if you want, I don't even call them artists, the majority of performers on the stage are not authentic at all. And and I was just like, you know, they don't, I'm sick of people, they're, they're all Mitt Romneys. They're all willing to do and say anything to get your vote. And they have no convictions. They, they, they just, oh, I'm sick of it. I'm so depressed that Whitney is gone because I loved Whitney. We all loved Whitney. She was like part of our family. And it's more than just that, like, they just don't make them like that anymore, you know? And I mean, I'm a, I'm a singer and everything and, 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 you know, I have my own special unique thing or whatever, you know, and I get that. But it's just, 
I'm not Whitney. And there's no, there's just no Whitneys uh, out there. And um, I just wish that we could, <laughs> we could turn off the Nicki Minaj's and the Lady Gaga's and turn on the Whitney's and the Michael's and all the really true, true bright shining stars out there that we really should have in the music industry. And uh, Grammys, you disappointed me. I am not watching you again unless lightning strikes and you become magical. All right? All right, thank you. <laughs> Take it easy.